Hey everyone, it's John and I'm just going to continue on from the last video which kind of ended a bit abruptly. So, uh, okay, the last video was on the multi-exit discriminator, so that is the med or the metric. Now, one thing I wanted to point out was how the med is compared between ASs, because like I say, actually by default, med is only effective within uh, one AS. So what does that actually mean? So let's have a look at this. What we're doing is, it's a bit of a reverse from the last video, what we're going to do is we're going to affect the path going outbound this way. So we've got our network here, 6.6.6.6, .6 and let's have a look and see how the, let's have a look at the path. So then show IP BGP. So to get to the 6 network, if we look at this, we can see that the best path is through 23561.2, which is up here. So that's this one here, 23561.2. So the path, therefore, to get to that is going to go up to here and then down to here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the med on all of these routers here to try to influence this router here. So I'm going to set the med, the med outbound on this link going this way as 100. On this link outbound this way 75. This link outbound uh, 50. And this link outbound 25. So we're going to have 100, 75, 50 and 25. So I've just done a wee diagram here so you can see. So this is the way it's going to go. And you'll notice I've got two separate colours because they're actually in two different autonomous systems. So these two up here are in AS56 and the bottom two are in AS81. So let's have a look and see how this affects things, okay? So we'll go into router 6 first and we'll just do a basic IP prefix list. Just call it list and we're going to permit uh, all the sixes, which is the network we're targeting, and we'll do a root map and just call it map permit 10. And we're going to match the IP address in the prefix list called list, and we're going to set the metric to be 100. The exit out and root map map and permit 20 just to prevent the filtering. So do router BGP 56 and do a neighbor, and we're going to send that to gigabit 01 interface effectively. So that's going to be 26, 56, 1 .1, 1 root map and it's map out. And just do oh, clear IP BGP soft. Okay, so that's that one that's set to 100. And we'll go down this one here. Pretty much follow the same process but to have the metric be 75 this time. So an IP prefix list and we'll just call it list. I'm going to permit all the sixes oh. and do a root map and just call that again map permit 10 match IP address in the prefix list called list. I'm going to set the metric this time to 75 and do a root map map permit 20 and just exit back out and do a router BGP 56 neighbor 23 56 2.1 root map map and out, clear our IP uh, BGP soft and straight away we should be able to see if we just do a clear up IP BGP and do a show IP BGP that we now have a change and the next hop because the metric is 75 here which is actually lower so we're now going to go through 23.56.2.2 which is this link here rather than go this link here so the med has had effect already so the med has had effect so it's saying that go through this link so what would happen then if we make these meds even lower well let's have a look and just see I'm going to do an IP prefix list and call it list again, just keep the same format and do a root map again, just called map, permit 10, match IP address, prefix list called list. I'm going to set the metric this time to be 50. 
and we'll just exit out and do a root map map pair 20 and let's put it on to our neighbor so it's neighbor 23 1.1 root map map out and let's clear the IP BGP soft and that should be that done so this is now going to be even lower at 50 and let's do the same here let's make this one the lowest yet which will be 25 we'll go for and do an IP prefix list called list permit all the sixes slash 32 root map map permit 10 match IP address in the prefix list called list and we're going to set the metric to be 25 exit out root map map permit 20 exit router BGP 81 and do neighbor 23 81.2.1 this time and again root map map and put that out let's clear our BGP softly okay and clear IP BGP soft okay now what is the path what path do you think it's going to prefer this is 100 this is the original best path okay this one up here was the original best path we modified the MED, aka the multi exit discriminator, aka the metric, to be 100 here and 75 here. So this one was lower. So the path was now preferred to go through here. Okay, so now we've got 100, 75, 15, 25. Is it going to be this one then? This is going to be the preferred path? This is going to be 25. Actually, what you're going to find is that there'll be no change. It's still going to be this path here. So have a look at this watch. We'll do a show IP BGP, show IP BGP, and you'll see that nothing has changed, even though the metric here is 25, the metric here is 75, the best path is still 2356.2.2, which is this link here, and again, if we go back to one is going to go here and then go here then go here and let's just test that to see that's still true and trace 6.6.6 what path did it take it went through 23.0.0.2 which is this interface here then 23.56.2.2 .2, which is this interface here then 56.99.2.2 .2, which is this path here so despite the med being lower on these two it's still preferring this one so why is that because like i say by default meds are not compared between uh, different as's so this one is looking at a med coming from here a med coming from here and a med coming from here and a med coming from here but it's not going to compare this med and this med but for this med and this med so effectively what you need to do is tell the router to compare meds so if we did this command router let's go into the bgp process router bgp 23 and do bgp always compare med now it's going to compare the meds between the two different autonomous systems so now if we clear ip bgp soft and just give that a wee second and let's do a show IP BGP. We can see that now the one with the lowest metric is now the preferred path, which is this one. So we're now going to go through this bottom link and let's just test that again. So let's trace to all the sixes. And you can see that now we're actually going 23002, which is this interface here. 2381 2.2 .2, which is this interface here and then 8199 2.2 .2, which is this interface here so we're now going through here because like I say what had happened was the original was this one here we then modified that from within this AS we're wanting uh, we want to traverse this path by telling this 
autonomous system number that this path was preferred by setting the metric to be lower. So this one was there. However, once we made these ones even lower, the BGP speaker here was not even going to compare these metrics with this metric. It's not going to say, well, that's 175, 1525. It's not even going to compare the 1525 to the 75 and the 100 because they're different ASs. BGP will not do that. So I was going to use a separate tiebreaker and it was, well, it wasn't even going to do that. It was going to stick to the path up here, but because the path up here had now been manipulated to be a lower metric here, it was going to stay within this autonomous system number, but use this lower metric of this path here. So the way to overcome that, to have all your meds compared, is to type that command in, and now because of that, we can traverse this path here. So that is just effectively the end of this video. I was just wanting to add a little kind of addendum to the original multi-exit discriminator video, which I kind of ended abruptly. So I thought I'd add this in just to add a little bit more completion to this path attribute. So that's the end of the video. Thanks very much and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.